Hello friends, so today we're going to do a very interesting topic which uh, has to do with eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic uh, cells. So we're going to do a very short quiz. Question 1 reads, characteristic of prokaryotes A, the presence of DNA B, presence of cell membrane C, presence of cell wall D, presence of ribosomes E, presence of nucleolus, F, I do not know. So what's more characteristic about prokaryotes is the presence of DNA. When you look at the presence of the cell membrane, uh, you, you also find um, the cell membrane in, in uh, eukaryotic cells. And this is not uh, specific because even eukaryotic cell organelles do have cell membranes. Okay, cell walls are found in plant cells, uh, ribosomes, uh, membrane-bound structures that are found in uh, eukaryotic cells. Nucleolo nucleolus is a part found in, in the nucleus. This is found in eukaryotic cells. Question 2. One difference between plants and animals is that plants have A. Endoplasmic reticulum B. Mitochondrial membranes C. Thylakoid membranes D cell membranes, E, ribosomes, F, I do not know. So the correct answer in this case is thylakoid membranes because these are found in what we call the chloroplasts, which is where photosynthesis takes place from. And these chloroplasts are found exclusively uh, in plants and not in animals. And that's why this uh, particular option stood out. Question 3. Bacterial ribosomes consist of A, 30S and 50S, B, 40S and 60S, C, 30S and 40S, D, 40S and 50S, E, 30S and 60S, F, I do not know. So the correct answer here is 30S and 50S. So the ribosome is composed of... Uh, two subunits we have the uh, small subunit and the large subunit okay so this s is a unit that we call Swedberg units okay these two are not complementary in that I, uh, we can say when we add these uh, 30s plus 50s they don't give us 80s no they actually give us 70s okay so, in prokaryotic cells, the small subunit is 30S, while the, the large subunit is 50S right here. Okay, that's for the large subunit. Question 4. Rough endoplasmic reticulum has A, an abundance of mitochondria, B, a thick lipid layer, C, a thick cellulose layer. D, many Golgi bodies. E, many ribosomes. F, I do not know. So the difference between a rough endoplasmic reticulum and a smooth endoplasmic reticulum is that the rough endoplasmic reticulum has many ribosomes. Okay? And we know that the ribosomes are a protein factory. So that's what distinguishes the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So it's called rough by virtue. So it looks something like this when you see it in the cell. And it has, so let's just use a different ink. So it has, it looks quite rough by virtue of it having multiple uh, ribosomes. That's why it's called rough. While it's the smooth, endo, the smooth ER, so this is rough ER. This is the smooth ER. The smooth ER doesn't have many uh, ribosomes attached to it, okay? So, well, friends, this is the end of the video. However, to access the full video, click, click on the link below.